Hello my viewers and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, I just want to show you some tips that you can use for you to maneuver, okay, or to work around your building or your model in Revit. Now, I want to indicate that, you know, this lesson is not just for, you know, architects, okay. As you can see, I'm just going to use an architectural model, but these, the tools and the tips that I'm going to use can be used by those who are the MEP guys, the structural guys, and also the architects I've said. Now, the importance of this lesson is that as you start modeling, you know, the model will have a lot of things. And, you know, in certain instances, you may just want to not to, to not to display certain information or hide certain things that you don't want to see. So these are the tips that I want to show you. Okay. Now, I just want to ask you that if you like what I'm doing on this channel, make sure that you subscribe to this channel, then on the bell notification. And for anyone who'd like to learn Revit architecture and Revit structure in a course, we have explained step by step, make sure that you check the links in the description where you can learn Revit from start to finish. Let me not waste time. Let me get started in this tutorial. So as you can see, this is an architectural model. And let me just mention to say that the tools that I'm going to use, we have the visibility graphics, the filter, the height isolate. I'll focus on these tools so that we see how we can utilize them to, to make your working so easy. So I'll just select on that and delete it. So the first one that I'll start with is the visibility graphics. Okay. Now the visibility graphics, if I just go to view on top there, you see that we have the visibility graphics. You can even type VG on your keyboard. You still got the same. So I'll just type VG on my keyboard and you see that I'm here. Okay. Now under the visibility graphics, we have the model categories and the annotation categories. I'll just focus on these two for this lesson. Okay. Under the annotation categories, this is where you can turn on and off what you want to see or what you don't want to see. For example, if I just go down here, you see that I don't have the the level stand on. If I just click on the level and click on apply, you see that I'm going to have the levels appearing there. Okay. So sometimes you see that once you are working within Revit, you try to create a particular, you know, component, you, you know, if it's turned off here, okay. For example, if it's turned off within the visibility graphics, you see that Levi, uh, Revit, sorry, will complain that, uh, uh, you know, it's invisible. It cannot appear here. It's because it's turned off. So make sure that you go to the visibility graphics, check. You might find that that category is turned off. Okay. So the annotation categories, as the name suggests, you see that this is where we have the levels, the annotation, you know, tags, the material tags. These are basically annotations. So these can be turned on and off from here under the annotation category. Now, if I go to the model categories, again, these are model elements. It's very, very easy to understand. Okay. So I'll focus only on, you know, turning on and off certain things and how you, that can help you to work within your model. Of course, there are other things here like the, you know, the, the, the cut patterns, the line styles, they can also be configured from here. Okay, so you see from here that if I just go, to, for example, to topography somewhere here and just turn it off, click on apply, you see that it's going to disappear. Okay, so the topography has disappeared. Now, one thing I have to mention to you that those who have used, you know, uh, Revit, visibility graphics, they are more or less like layers in AutoCAD. What you can do with the layers in AutoCAD can equally be done here. And the more advantage with the visibility graphics is that you are not creating these things. The categories are already there. You see that we have everything that we need. We have the walls, the windows, and everything. All the main components that you can think of using within, within Revit are already categorized. And unlike in AutoCAD, whereby you have to name them and then create those. Okay. So it's even easier to use these things within 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 um, Revit. So let me just turn on the, the topography. As I've done it, click on apply. Okay, you see that it's going to appear as you can see from here. So if you want to turn on and off certain things, make sure that you go to the visibility graphics VG or simply click there. This is where you can, you know, you can find anything. If I go to the roof, okay, just like that. Then I go to roofs, I can click on it, click on apply. Then that category, the roof will disappear as you can see from here. I can go ahead, maybe the walls, I also don't want to see the walls right there. Click on apply. Okay, you see that 
it will be like this okay if you want to maybe show something you know in this way oh sorry i didn't apply vg i'll go back to click there i'll start with the the roof the way it was then i'll go to the roofs and i'll go to the walls just like this make sure that you click on apply and okay you see that if you just want to see the components inside the house or maybe you just want to make a presentation you can make use of the visibility graphics and you can hide things that you don't want to see now if i also hide the topography going to vg there then i talked about this one then i'll go to topography click on apply okay you see that disappear now if i try to create a topo surface for example to create a topo surface you go there then go to topo surface you see that it will tell you to say that topographic elements are not visible in your current view okay so make sure that you just go to the visibility graphics and check if that category is turned on okay that applies to any kind of a display it could be structural mep or architectural everything is categorized here as you can see from here if i go under the filter list you can even see that the categories are there if you are focusing only on structure you are better off just leaving the you know the maybe the structure if it's mechanical or electrical you can do that but i just prefer leaving everything on if you want to the list to be shorter you can still do that okay so i click on apply just like that and let me bring back everything that i turned off just go to walls there i also have the roof there i can bring back my roof there and also the topography right there click on apply click on ok so these bit graphics are very very important now as i've said there's more to this later on later on in the tutorial i'll show on how you can use you know the line styles you know the patterns the cut pattern for you to you know to, to to manipulate your view now before i forget one thing you have to understand about visibility graphics is that it just applies to this particular view okay let me show you what i mean if i change anything here by going to video okay visibility graphics i i remove the walls for example i don't want to see the walls click on apply okay you see that in this view under the 3d view the walls are not there but if i go to the other view you see that the model is intact okay i can even go to the other view okay all right yeah it's okay i think you can see it let me just change to this one you see that everything will be seen within this view as you can see the walls are there so the visibility graphics whatever you change these are view specific whatever changes you make will only apply to that particular view all the other views will remain intact so that's what you need to to bear in mind okay now let me go let me go to some other settings like the you know the filters that's another very very important tool that you have to think of okay that you have to to keep on using so if i just select everything here for example if i want to select just the maybe the furniture okay i can select this is the window selection okay the other side if i just click down here and drag my, my my left mouse up there whatever the box touches will be selected okay the other direction from top to bottom you see that it will just pick those elements which are completely enclosed within that box okay so just note that one so if i just select everything like that then click on filter that two on top there this one will help you again to 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 filter what you don't want to select and what you want to select assuming that i've selected everything here i can click on filter then check none if i just want to select maybe you can see these are the categories if i just want to select the plumbing and what else maybe the the furniture i can do that click on apply okay so you see that i've just selected those okay so from here you see that multiple categories selected okay because i've selected two different categories okay now if i select once again and go to filter and what i want to what i want to select here i want to isolate it I can use the filter tool to select and also isolate so that I just work on what I want to see. For example, if I want to select maybe the plumbing and also the furniture and the floors, okay? Then click on apply, okay? I've selected it, but I, I, I don't want to see the other things. I just want to, let me just do the selection. I did the opposite, select everything, filter, 
check none what i want to select are the maybe the the furniture the plumbing and the floors then click on apply okay i did the opposite sorry for that now i want to isolate these things so that i see them properly there's a tool that you can use you can just use hi on your keyboard as a shortcut so that's hide isolate as you can see from there that is the to temporary hide or isolate now this way you are able to isolate what you just want to see after selecting after using that filter then h h i on your keyboard you see that i've just selected you know i've just isolated what i want to see okay as you can see from here now the goodness with this is that even within here you are able to remove what you don't want to see to remove what you don't want to see we have the two here which is called okay under the same one it's called temporary hide or isolate so if i want to hide this one i can type hh on my keyboard okay meaning that i'm just hiding what i what what i don't want to see within you know this isolation which i already did so as you can see that is isolated if i want to remove that one hh on your keyboard as a shortcut now these shortcuts will come by default if you don't change it then it will work for you as you can see from here so i can continue working with what i want here for example if i want to change something move something within here i can do that okay now if you want to bring back the whole model what you need to do is to just go down there where we have temporary hide isolate just click there then reset okay once you click on reset, then you are back to the to the whole model. So I can't overemphasize the importance of using these two. You are definitely going to use these two as you keep on working on, on, you know, on your project because it's very, very important. So if I just want to, maybe I just want to work with uh, something like maybe this wall, okay? Maybe just this wall, I can select on that, maybe HI, you know, I can isolate it like that. If I want to, to change the profile, I can do that. Once I'm done, just go back there and reset, okay? That's another very, very important tool that you need to know, temporary hide, isolate, okay? Now, if I hide something permanently, for example, if I don't want to see this topo, I said that you can hide this one, HH, it means that you have hidden that one from the it's, it's more or less like a visibility graphic okay so applied in this view only the way we use the the the, the, the topograph to hide is still the same thing but it's this is temporal okay so if you go back there and you want to apply that one you can click apply hide isolate to view you click there then you are back so this one is more or less like a visibility graphic the way you turn off whatever i want to turn off so you can first go to the temporal mode and then permanently hide that one so that is the tool that you can use if i want to maybe let me select this one here again let me show this tip once you select one category okay these are the plants i can right click if i want to select all the plants within here please make sure that you, you see what i'm doing uh i select one then i'll go select all instances in visible view all the plants are selected okay that's another tool that you need to use and you are definitely going to use most of the time so if i want to hide this one once again hh it means that it's hidden here but temporarily it's hidden it is not permanent if i want to make it permanent i'll just click there and apply hide isolate to view as you can see that disappears and it's hidden like permanently in this view okay if i just go to vg let me check under the topography has it been affected you see that it's not affected under the topography here it's just it was just applied to that view as you can see so that's the difference with the visibility graphics but if i want to bring it back don't go to the to, to the visibility graphics there's another tool next to it which is review hidden elements okay so once you use this method of hiding here temporarily and then permanently don't go to the visibility graphics just play with these tools the first one temporary hide isolate the second one review if i click on review as you can see this is what i had to hide so you can see that that is the plants that is the topo surface so if i just select on the topo surface there i can right click and then i'm going to say unhide in view by elements or by category it's okay you do that i click then click outside you see the color will disappear okay i can do the same for the plants 
I'll select that one, but right click and unhide in view. If I say by elements, it only affect that single plant. But if I select that plant, right click and hide in view, okay, the category is not active. So if I want to select all the plant, all the plants, I'll select one, right click, then select all instances in visible view. Okay, once I do that, then I'll just move the cursor somewhere there and right click, then unhide in view by elements, then that will be unhidden. Okay, now you see that we are still in this view. So what you need to do is to go back here. Okay, then you click close review hidden elements. Once you do that, then you are back and everything can be seen. The other tool that I want to show you, if you want to isolate a particular, you know, component, for example, I just want to isolate that part, maybe that part as a section, okay? Within the model there, I can go to box selection, which is BX on your keyboard, or simply click there, click outside. You see that it will just, you know, there's that box, as you can see from here, which is called a section box. Now, this box can be made bigger or smaller, just like that. I can just drag up there and I can even use this one to isolate a certain section in Revit. There are, you know, different ways of, you know, achieving the same thing. So there are, I may show you these tools, several tools to achieve the same thing. Someone else may show you other tools to achieve the same thing. But the tools that I'm showing you will help you to really, you know, work very, very fast when it comes to manipulating your views, you know, hiding certain things, reviewing certain things. You see that? With this box, I can just concentrate on what I want to see. You can even cut like that, okay? Even for presentation, you can even show certain things just by growing that box, okay? Now, if you want to go back to the, you know, to the original, you know, to the origin, so that you bring back the whole model, just go back there and uncheck the section box just like that. You see that you have everything. So thank you very much. Make sure that you use these tips. It will really help you as you work within your model, whether architectural, mechanical, you know, MEP, so to say, anything, any discipline we are working in, these tools will really help you. So see you in some more tutorials. And before you close the video, make sure that you like the video and also turn on the bell notification.